fan. The legit question is going to be, all right, well, how did we get here? I was very clear at the beginning of the summer season. What parties are suggesting, what they are looking for, quote unquote, 100 worth of dollars of fiat per barrel of oil. I said they won't get that. Highly unlikely. And they did not. Lack of demand. Simple. You have close to 14 uh, million EVs will have been built and traded before the end of the earth year. Now, a large chunk of them are sitting around rotting. That's true. However, a significant amount of them are, in fact, being used. And so are the electric bikes. Demand is down. Even so-called China, they're feeling the effects. They in Kusharapa, what they were doing was acquiring uh, oil from the arms dealers in Moscow. And refining it and reselling it. Demand is down. Kusharaba got hit by a significant typhoon. Right behind them, I knew, so called China, got hit with a massive typhoon. Look at them. Push rapid didn't get as hard. I knew on the other hand, Beijing was a lake. All throughout that region, they have built so many wells over the earth years that their land is porous there. Subway tubes. Corrupted, unusable. Sinkholes everywhere. And now the land is literally sinking. Over five inches. The floods over there are ongoing, and the floods have taken out at least 85% of their rice crop. They already import on top of their annual rice crop 100 million tons of grains. And they've already overfished their waters. Demand for food and not enough supply. You know it's going to hit the commodities markets across the planet. In the meantime, in what some call Benin, the yams are stacked sky high. Not enough demand for the yams. Unconditional wisdom is needed here. If not, those yams are going to rot in the fields where they're being stored. They should be contacting Akith and Kendrick and Kusharapa. They should be contacting Akith and Kendrick in Ainu, especially in Beijing. Hey, fair market value, come get these yams. In North Mexico, the mental sloth continues. In South Mexico, we have opportunities.
the business training sessions. The third one is coming up in the coming love day. We're going to use the third session to advance the knowledge base of the mixed multiplier business owners further. Give our folks opportunities by providing them with additional information to make their business models advance and cause them to prosper. Because all these things that's happening across the planet, although they may be far, they're not that far. And although they may be far, not that far, they present opportunities for those that choose to seize upon them. Not to gouge folks. Fair market value works. And everyone can win. I'm happy to inform you that here in the Agade Medina, we have a new location for us to do our food growth operations in. So we're not going to be doing the hydroponics there. That's going to stay here. The regular non-hydroponics food with operations are going to commence out on the west side of Agati Medina. We won't get things fast enough to take advantage of particular opportunities. And we're not going to be going enough to need it anyway. This is more so for our internal consumption. However, there will be opportunities to advance, and we shall seize upon them in due course. Our kith and kindred need to unlearn so much, they need to adjust their behavior abruptly, but they have to choose to do that. Parties are freaking out. Right now, because in certain stores, they have to weigh their palm print to even get into the stores. Seven Earth years from now, they will have completed work in their plans. There'll be no more cryptos. There'll be no more digital Naira. There'll be no more digital rupee and all the other digital alleged quote unquote currencies. They're all going to be merged into one, the UMU, Universal Monetary Unit. And what little liberties folks think they have that insist on participating in the system are gone. They're QR coding folks. Not just getting their palm prints. Microchipping some. All the information, medical records, quote unquote licenses, everything will be on their QR codes. In their microchips. All their privacy is gone. All their rights and protection is gone. <sighs> Folks are grown. We gotta respect their choices. If they like what's getting ready to happen to them, it is what it is. And it can't be what it's not. <laughs>